Hi, I'm Stacy Borden, the University Grounds Manager and ISA Certified Arborist. Trees are a really critical component to stormwater management that are often overlooked. The canopy of a tree will intercept thousands of gallons of water a year, which means that's water that never touches the ground and never enters the stormwater system. So when we have trees that are intercepting the stormwater, it reduces the load on our gray infrastructure. But beyond just intercepting that rainwater, they hold on to it and it will evaporate back into the atmosphere and, it, and whatever doesn't evaporate will slowly be released into the ground through running down the trunk or just slowly dripping into the ground, which helps percolate into the soil and not overwhelm the soil causing more runoff. Another really often unthought of or unrealized benefit of tree canopy and stormwater is the cooling of the water that does reach the storm sewer systems and our streams. Uh, by having cooler water entering the streams, it is actually better for the wildlife and the fish and the habitat of those stream ecosystems to not have hot water running into them. That can really be detrimental to those ecosystems. Yet another benefit of our trees and their role in stormwater reduction is when we have situations where we can, like behind me here, where we can just let the trees do their thing like they do in nature, allow the leaves to fall, not be collected, have those break down, that actually starts to improve the soil structure, which will increase the soil porosity, which increases the infiltration into the soil and reduces the runoff. When we get into more urban settings like we have on campus, having wider mulch rings around the trees, that does the same job as leaving the leaves in place, but with a more tidy appearance. But that, the large mulch rings around trees to the drip line will help improve that soil structure and increase the infiltration of stormwater. If you wanted to get involved or participate in some tree-related activities uh, virtually, you can go to the Urban Forest Initiatives website, and they have some virtual tours that you can take um, you can come out to campus and with this virtual tour, they'll guide you through some walks and visit some trees and do some guided meditation or just see some different trees on campus. Our facilities grounds department has a tree inventory, which is web-based. So you can visit our campus tree inventory, which is open to the public to interact with, and you could filter it and you can look for trees or you can just use it as a tool to help you identify trees to learn that skill of being able to walk around and know everything you're looking at.